Hey y'all, it's Tyson. Today we're going to look at an extension for SketchUp called Scan Essentials. This is a fairly unique tool because at its core, Scan Essentials imports point clouds into SketchUp and then provides tools to use those point clouds as a powerful modeling reference. Again, we don't create the point clouds, but from high-end laser scanners to drones and now even some phones and tablets can create scans that can be imported directly into SketchUp through Scan Essentials. You can find and purchase this extension standalone, but it is also included in the SketchUp Studio bundle. One exception. For now at least, Scan Essentials only works on Windows and we don't have a timeline for when it might be available on Mac. Definitely a bummer for those of us who are Mac users, but do keep that in mind. So, let's start by opening the Scan Essentials toolbar. These icons are broken up into several groups, which is nice. We'll just work our way through them. The first three are for managing your scans. We can open and close scans, and also open the Point Cloud Manager. Let's grab a point cloud right now. As you can see, we can import a number of common formats. I've got this scan in E57 format, so I'll choose that. The file doesn't open right away though, we are prompted to save this file as an RWP or RealWorks file, which is the actual format SketchUp we'll be using. And Scan Essentials will convert this file for us. This particular scan is the front side of our local fire station. I was out testing Trimble's X7 scanner, and you can see this was a cold February day. We've got some snow and my bundled up outline at each scan location. Now, depending on how you want to view and reference the scan, opening the point cloud manager gives us some viewing options, including the colorization and shading. Depending on your project and whether it's an interior or exterior scan, play with these settings to see what's going to give you a good visual reference. I'm going to return to a simple color view and close the manager. Another option for changing the display of your point cloud are the next set of icons in the toolbar. This will allow us to toggle the point cloud off completely or apply various modes of transparency between the cloud and the model. Let me start building out this model so we can see these options better. I'm going to zoom in and use this section of the wall as a nice flat surface to draw a rectangle. Let's draw a few more rectangles while we're here just to show how the plugin allows you to snap to all these accurate points in the model. It's really quite remarkable. The point cloud does not act like regular geometry though. If I draw a wide selection window to select and delete these rectangles, the point cloud is not selected and not deleted. Think of the point cloud as a locked down stationary reference. We'll see later on that you can reposition the point cloud, but in general, think of it purely as an outside reference to your model. Okay, back to our wall. As I pull this surface out, it's a simple matter to reference the point cloud as we go along. For most buildings, like this one, once you've established one good surface, you'll want to keep building off that original SketchUp surface in that way, you're making sure that you are getting completely accurate 90 degree corners and that all your drawn geometry is going to work well together. So for the most part, I'll keep using push-pull and reference these points as needed to create my basic blocks. And remember to use the modifier key with push-pull to create new surfaces. Using just a few tools, we can really quickly create the basic massing of this building. So now that we have some geometry in the scene, let's look at our toolbar again. 
It's really up to your own preference the amount of transparency or blending you prefer. For these exterior models, I like this last conditional blending mode, but that also may change as your model gets more detailed. Similarly, these icons are for changing the snapping behavior of your model. And like the display, you may change the snapping behavior as your model develops. You can turn off snapping completely or tell it to favor the cloud points or the SketchUp geometry more highly. And these two icons are for creating construction points and guidelines. These are the same type of guidelines you could create with the tape measure tool, so use them in the same way as another reference guide. Remember that all guidelines can be deleted through the edit menu. Now let's zoom away from our model for a moment to show an important concept when using scan essentials. The imported point cloud will have its own axis that will almost surely not line up with the building and geometry you are creating. For this reason, once you've established your first surface or box, it's a good idea to realign the model axis to your SketchUp geometry for ease of modeling. The other reason to know about the point cloud axis is that you can create a clipping box to refine how much of your point cloud is displayed. That clipping box, though, is going to be based on the original cloud axis. I'm going to toggle the cloud off, draw a large box, roughly the size of the building we're creating, and because we changed the axis to align with our SketchUp geometry, this box is on that axis as well. I'll select this box, group it, and then with this icon we can create a clipping box from this SketchUp selection. I'll toggle the point cloud back on to help show this. Clipping the point cloud is a great way to refine the points you want to actually see and use. Notice, however, the clipped points actually align with the original cloud axis, not the new axis we've chosen. It's still very useful, just something to keep in mind. Okay, we've worked through most of the toolbar. There are just two icons left for us. If you need to reposition the point cloud, these final tools will let you move and rotate your imported cloud. Maybe you have an existing model and you want to align a newly imported scan to your model, or you are bringing in multiple scans that aren't registered to each other. Whatever the reason, move and rotate will snap points in your cloud to points of the model. And if you need to reset the transformation, you can find that option in the Point Cloud Manager. All right, I hope that was helpful and a good overview of what you can do with Scan Essentials. If you want to learn more or see some examples taken further, come by SketchUp Campus, learn.sketchup.com, where I'm going to be building out some examples in more detail to show some tips and tricks when using Scan Essentials. Thanks again for watching and be sure to subscribe if that's your thing. Mostly though, please leave us your thoughts in the comments. We do read them and we create a lot of videos directly based on the feedback you give us. See you next time.